so I am coming home to the United States with a different mind and I'm hoping to be steady at this mind instead of mind state of mind. It's been fun. This trip has been different than my other trips. So I've been living by myself for the past two months ever since I came back from Brazil. The loner life is really not that bad. I got evicted because I couldn't afford the place and I wanted to hold it but I didn't make it. I wanted my wife to come home, I wanted my kids to come home. There's stoners and boners, you know that stoner here. Uh, it's been a while since we vlogged, right? Um, trying to uh, catch this up here a little. Well, I am in Rocky Hill, back to Connecticut. I took a trip to Tennessee. It was good times. I had a girl. Um, you guys probably, if you follow me, you would definitely know about it. So I'm not even gonna get into details or anything personal like that. So, uh, met up with a friend just now from back in high school. Good people, man. If you follow up as well, and good days back in the day, like it's just some story histories, with, you know, being in high school. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty legit. You know, it's just pretty cool to uh, vlog this, and uh, I'm not sure when it's gonna be out. So, it might be take a little while, or I don't know. We'll see when it's gonna go. So when that that is good that you know that we're all here together again. So whatever that meant. But I'm trying to be brief about this, baby. It's just not the right time to be on. Anyways, that trip was insane. I had a lot of fun, and uh, I'm willing to go there again. I probably have some new plans coming up. That's probably gonna be mind blasting, and it's like totally awesome so I'm trying to see if I can uh, pull that off hopefully it will happen yeah I just kind of had to count up that a little bit here a little while ago I'm not gonna talk about any future events anymore because I can't promise much just haven't been able to post anything or be out in public and do this kind of cool stuff that I like doing so hopefully we get to do that soon uh. All right, well, I'm at the ferry right now, chilling, and uh, my kid's coming home, and my wife. That's cool. I'm really happy. I have been drinking, and I, I'm just so happy. Like, there's nothing happier in life than seeing your family or your kid again. And knowing that's like part of you knowing that's you you know part of you really and <laughs> i'm pretty happy about that and uh yeah um a lot of cool stuff has been happening lately um other than getting dumped by the girlfriend which is kind of sad and you know wish i never did that anyways so um it, it is good to to have that happen I'm pretty excited, I'm really happy, I don't know how to, there's no words to describe that, and I just had to happen to come here to a place like this today, because I just needed to, it was so much 
excitement overwhelming that like there's no words there's no nothing to describe how happy I am to see my kid again and um, you know I figured that I owed you guys this vlog I wish I really vlogged some more in Tennessee while I was there I know I, I didn't really get to do that because it was just kind of like southern ways like different from up here that you just kind of like you know you chill you relax none of this technology bullshit none of this stress it's nothing like city stuff and uh, I had a lot of fun there here it's different you know the first hour I just got here the haven I saw like about probably three fights at once to see one fight in Tennessee at all I mean, maybe it was just because I was nervous or not, I don't know, but I was told that they were just, you know, assholes in their own way, so, like, you know, so, oh, whatever, whatever that meant. Well, but anyway, um, excited about, you know, current events going on right now, kids coming back, thrilled. Make sure it's working all right. Well, yeah, and that. Uh, Probably gonna do FIFA again soon. I'm gonna be uh, streaming video games and such. Trying to get that worked out. And next week should be a big move. Should be a big plan. We uh, we're gonna go. Well, I'm gonna go get my data and stuff. So uh, that includes my uh, new music that I've been doing as well. Um, the old Death Three album. It's kind of like an attachment to it. So if you guys actually do like my music, I encourage you to check that out because it should be out sometime I'm hoping by June it's like a two-year process I know it took long apologize about that it's just exciting it's very exciting if I can put my mind to it work we, you know get some shit down that'll be great so uh, I'm probably gonna do a vlog soon about uh, the Tennessee trip I've been thinking about it and uh, I don't know maybe I should I should have just done that before but just like when I got back, it was such an amazing trip. It was definitely like a journey. It was a story to tell. It was like, I don't even know what the fuck it was. It was, it was an epic time. So being drunk here in the ferry, I'm gonna vlog here, videotape some nice things. I'm gonna close this out. All right, so you guys stay cool, keep it real. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my content, Twitter, Instagram, links are down in the description, probably not Instagram, probably not Twitter, but follow me anyways, alright, anyway, so uh, you guys, keep it real. Stoners and boners, you have that stoner here. So, hey Elizabeth, I'm gonna make a small vlog and try to catch you guys up with uh, what's going on. So, uh, yeah, um, grab yourself uh, something to drink, something to uh, chill there, sit in the chair. Like, you know, I'm just hanging here. Obviously, my family came back. My wife and my daughter. I don't know how much you guys put up with it, but. It's a long story. I don't even know if I have time to tell you guys, so... Like... Alright, let's put it this way. We're moving out, obviously, we just saw... Uh, I don't even know how to begin, actually, because... It's just been so long since I have vlogged. I want to catch you guys up, so... Let me start this. Okay, well, obviously, I moved out of the old house. Came here to Rocky Hill with my parents. And uh, after that, my family was still gone, and uh, a lot of shit just crazy, man. All right, well, I'm trying to find a place where I can actually do this legit vlog for you guys. I don't, my family still hasn't returned yet. I decided to move on. I decided to move on with my life. I wanted to just go on with my life because we all have lives. You do. Everybody does. And I do, too. So that's what I did. So moving on, I went out with this girl that I knew for about a long time, 
and uh, we kind of were a little, you know, kind of trying to figure out what would happen, and uh, this is what would happen. So I took that journey to Tennessee uh, to meet with her, and we had good times. It was really good, but um, all that also went down to shit. And um, with that, while I was Tennessee, uh, things were just starting to evolve, I guess. I don't know. Family wanted to come home. Uh, I wanted to see my kid, and my kid wanted to be with me too. Uh, we wanted, we might have wanted to try to work this out or something, and uh, I, I said no. I didn't really want to. Well, you know, they could have came back and stuff and tried to lay out their life, and you know, I was gonna be there, a supportive parent, but it really wasn't gonna grow much out of the marriage anymore. That's what we were deciding on, because I had a girlfriend, and I actually did really like her back then. We were gonna do that. And I was gonna go end up going back to Tennessee at some point. So with that, nothing happened. And a week after I arrived from Tennessee, oh, just to mention you guys, there will be no more Tennessee vlog. I know I promised you guys that I would be sitting here talking about it, you know, just telling you guys about their culture or whatever. Well, I'm not really that thrilled anymore. I was going to, but I'd rather say F it. And I just wanna move on with my life with my family again. So getting back to it, a week after when I got back, she broke up with me. She dumped me because of something stupid. I don't want to talk about it, but you can throw all you want. You can actually spoil it out. I don't give a fuck. You know, it's not something I'm ashamed of or not even like proud of at the same time. So, so we obviously broke up then. And then me and wife were talking again. It took us about at least a week or three weeks or so to try to like just settle each other again. And uh, it's been tough to do so, but we did it. We said, you know what? We're gonna be strong parents. We're gonna unite each other. We're gonna do this. Some people don't believe in relationships like this. I don't either. Um, like I said, I don't even believe in a break. Like if there's a break between a relationship, that's really not. I don't think that's fair at all for neither one of them. So. So there it goes, to catch you guys up, we came back here, we were here with my family, me and my wife and my daughter. So I wanted to fill you guys in on the reason why we're moving out. My father has vascular dementia and it's really not good because he is becoming to a point where he gets aggressive and violent and uh, not to mention my ex-girlfriend, the one I was dating, had a father that passed away from that. She explained me a little bit about it, not really a little bit, she kind of got me into deep details about it and it's really not something that is that good. So we I'm already aware of it, I did some googling research. The other day we had a little problem, there was also an issue on the way to the airport to pick up my family and that I could have really got bad and it did. Even a couple of days after I arrived here, there was already a problem. And then last week, there was a problem. And think, luckily, we found another place to stay. My daughter having autism, it's really not, it's really not a, a it's really not that good of idea to have her stay in this house. I don't know where I'm going to pick this up, so I don't know even where it's going to go. But I just wanted to put this out there, just like my other videos. I have been vlogging here and there, willing to release at some point. But by the time I, uh, but by the time I release the videos, you guys are probably gonna be caught up a little bit with this. All right, I'm gonna keep it real now. We're gonna finish this moving, and we got a new place to go. So the next vlog, you guys are gonna see. It's probably gonna be most likely while I'm there which I'm really not planning on staying there for that long. We're not planning on staying there for long at all. We're probably gonna be moving out to our own town where, you, where we used to live. We really wanna go back there. I don't really like it up here. I did like it back, back in the day. It was fun times, but it just seems like a cemetery to me. All those good times, they flew away, dissolved, faded, something happened. I don't really wanna get dramatic anymore and deep into details, but something that I should have done was recording my dad when he was having that attack which was kind of unfair it was actually kind of funny in a way but it really wasn't it was kind of a masterpiece telling story so uh, all right guys i'll pick up next time i'll see you guys then 
Don't forget to subscribe to my content. Twitter links are down. Instagrams are down in the description. Uh, help yourself do something. I'm helping myself. Don't forget to keep this tone. Getting ready to take off.